Hey guys, today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using my new Naked Basics um, palette. I bought this a few days ago and I thought I would show you um, what kind of look you could do with this. Um, these are all the colors that come inside. As you can see, they're all neutral colors. So a person who wants to begin learning how to use makeup, I would definitely recommend to get this because it is neutral colors, which is easier to um, deal with versus colors. So this is a, tu the, a tutorial on using the Naked Basics palette, but this can also be a tutorial for beginners. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I had to zoom you guys in. The first thing we're going to do is apply my highlight. Um, no particular reason why I do this. I've just been doing it this way for a while now. So I'm going to apply this um, under my eyebrow like this. Oops. Oh, forgot to show the color. The color that I'm using is Venus. And... It's this color, Venus, and I'm using a small eyeshadow brush like this. Now with the same color, I'm now going to take a brush um, like this. This is kind of like a pointy uh, pencil brush and I'm going to apply that in my tear duct. And apply some here in my lower lash line. Now applying um, a shimmery color to your tear duct is, is optional. I just like the way that it makes your eyes look. Alright, and so far everything looks like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color called Foxy. And that's what this looks like. Foxy right here and I'm going to apply that um, on the remainder of my lid. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to um, flip it over or you could just wipe off um, the little bit of eyeshadow that you used on like a paper towel or something. So now I'm going to apply Foxy all over my lid. Now what I do when I apply eyeshadow is I just dab it just so I can get um, most of the color um, pigmentation, if that makes sense. Because I feel like when you, you know, if you just, you go like this, you're taking off the color. So I just, you know, I dab it, especially like in the center where I want it to be a little concentrated. So I just applied this all over my lid. You can come up to the crease if you want to or if that just makes it easier. It does kind of make blending a little easier, but um, it's not necessary for me. And that's what that looks like when it's applied all the, over the lid. So the next color that I'm going to use is called, what is this called? It's called, oh, it's called Naked 2. And that's this color. Oops, it's hard to do this. Naked 2. And I'm using um, this brush. It's like a little, um, what's it called? I don't know. It says it's a highlight brush, but it's really not. Well, I don't use it for a highlight brush. But I'm going to take a brush like this, and I'm going to apply this color in... Um, my crease and blend it in with the lid color as well as the highlight color. So I'm going to start here and kind of, you know, just tap where I want it and then I'm going to take my brush and kind of move in a windshield wiping motion and blend that in. Just like this. I want most of the color concentrated in the crease, so I'm going to get a little more and concentrate that 
in the crease and then once I feel like there has been enough um, distributed in the crease I'm going to take whatever is left on the brush and then lightly go over it where the highlighted area is just so that it blends in nicely just like that just gonna grab a little more and blend and that's what that looks like I forgot to mention um, if you get to this part, point and you feel like you know you've covered your highlight color um, too much just go back and apply just a little bit of the highlight back on it and then go back with this uh, brush and then blend it out um, again until you get it the way that you want to um, blending um, is very important it just brings the whole look um, together and also if you're a beginner um, you can actually just stop here and then, you know, put eyeliner on and mascara and you'll be good to go. But if you want to take it further, I'm going to show you what you can do next. Now with the same brush, I'm going to take this color called Faint. And that's what Faint looks like. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay. That's what Faint looks like. Same brush. And this is going to go basically in the outer V area of my eye. So I'm going to take a little bit and dab it on there and I'm going to apply that here okay and kind of drag that down and then bring the rest into um, the outer V this part is called your outer V I don't want to blend all of it upwards because it kind of defeats the purpose of putting um, the naked two color here all unless you want it to be kind of like a transition color just so that everything blends um, together and all the colors transition together smoothly. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more and concentrate there and again kind of windshield wiper motions but I'm also going in a circular motion like that. And it just intensifies the look. It just makes it um, a little deeper as you can see see the difference between the two eyes this is softer whereas this just you know it just makes it look a little bit more intense which is um, what I like to wear sometimes or most of the time so I'm just gonna apply a little more and if you're a beginner I would suggest that you just do little by little till you get it the way that you want it to be okay and that's what this eye looks like now with that same color I'm gonna go back with um, another pencil brush and I'm going to line my lower lash line well at least like the outer portion of it just like this and again if you're a beginner um, you don't have to um, include this step this is completely optional but I just like the way that this make sure you know the whole entire look look so if you're uncomfortable with this step then you could just you know just stop um, where I had mentioned before and you know just do the usual line your eyes however you line them whether it be the top or the bottom and then um, put mascara on and you'll be just fine now the highlight area or the highlight part that I used earlier, I'm going to blend that into it. Just poked my eye. Don't poke your eye. Okay. And that's what this looks like. And as you can see between both eyes, this just, you know, brings it all together. My eyes now red. This is just um, a random step that I'll do sometimes, but sometimes when I am lining like the lower lash line, whatever is left on this brush, I will just go ahead and line it up, you know, with the outer V just like that, just to intensify even more and basically just make it seem um, seamless. 
just like that. See? Give it a little more rounder, defined look. And yeah. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do this off camera because it's, I, I don't know, it's just weird doing it on camera sometimes. I'm going to line my eyes and add mascara and show you what I'm going to do with the rest of my face. So my eyes have been lined and mascara <laughs> So the last thing I'm going to do is apply uh, eyeliner to the bottom. Um, and again, this is optional. You don't have to use it. You can be perfectly just fine just going out like this. So this is basically the complete look. Neutral, natural, whatever you want to call it. And it's simple. Well, I kind of made it more dramatic, but you can make it more simple. And it's definitely an everyday look. Again, I want to stress that if you are if you are a beginner, then this is a palette that I definitely recommend. Um, because it does have, you know, neutral colors and I think, you know, starting out with makeup, you should start with neutral colors because it's just, it's just easier to work with. You should also get this because it's small and it's compact and you can throw it in your purse. It's great for travel. It's affordable. This was $29. Um, I really want one of the naked palettes, but I just feel some type of way about spending $50 on a makeup palette. So I'll probably catch it, um, during a sale or... Um, I don't know. I really need to put something on my lips. Let me go do that real quick. Okay, see, that is better. This is basically my whole entire face all put together. Just in case you're wondering what lipstick I use. This is by Rimmel. It's the Kate Moss collection. And this is called Kiss of Life. And, you know, it's just a matte red. Isn't it pretty? I feel like I'm like an old 50s Hollywood singer. With all this going on. I got my, you know, Janelle Monet thing going on. <laughs> but, oh, and the blush that I use. The blush that I use is by Wet n Wild. And this is called Heather Silk. That's what that looks like. But, yes, this is the entire look all put together. I don't know why I just did that. But, yeah, um, just make sure that you know you just practice. And I promise you the more you you know do makeup the better that you'll become and yeah anyway that's all for this video if you all uh have any questions leave them in the comment section below make sure you thumb up this video and if there are any other looks that you guys would like me to do a tutorial on leave that in the comment section below as well and yeah till the next video i will see you guys later bye